Hello, I'm Lucy Scott. Receiving a diagnosis of cancer is different for everyone and affects each person in an individual way. From our research and from talking to patients, we have found that it is common for people to feel a variety of emotions. These may be feelings of anxiety, confusion, anger or sadness, as well as denial and relief. We know that along with the physical impact of treatment, you may also have social, psychological, spiritual and practical needs that you will require support with. We also know that the impact of cancer doesn't suddenly stop when treatment is over. We're here to help people understand their individual needs and show them where to get help if needed. This could be providing information about exercise, diet or financial matters or details about support for your family members and carers. To help you and your families live with and beyond cancer, there are a number of ways we can offer this support. A holistic needs assessment is a conversation with you which looks at anything which may be affecting your day-to-day -day life, not just the medical aspects. It aims to identify the things that matter to you and your family so that you can be signposted to the most appropriate service for support and advice. This is generally undertaken by one of our nurses while you are having treatment in the hospital. At the end of active treatment, you'll be given a treatment summary, which is also shared with your GP. The summary outlines the treatment you've had and any signs or symptoms to look out for going forward. This means your GP is fully informed, so when you visit them, you won't have to remember or repeat everything. A cancer care review is a discussion between you and your GP or practice nurse about your cancer journey. It will help you understand what information and support is available in your local area and you can share your cancer experience. This will enable supported self-management, which means taking a more active role in your own healthcare. You can choose to access a variety of support which focuses on your health and well-being, depending on what suits you and your preferences. These include annual health and well-being events that can provide the most up-to-date information about services in your area. There are numerous local support groups you can contact and services that can help with anxiety, depression or financial support, as well as advice for family members and carers and much, much more. The Macmillan Cancer Support website provides a wealth of information you can access, as well as the online community and the support line services. There are some useful films available which give a taster of why reaching out for support for stress management, coping strategies and fatigue management may help you. Please remember you are not on your own.